We have a sample page here, but you can add this to any page. So let's add a layout for our preloader. We will keep the preloader block as the first element inside the body tag. So let's add a div element for our preloader block. Go to the tree panel and right click on the body element. A pop-up menu should appear. Go to insert, grouping elements, and click on div. You can also insert any element from the elements library panel off to the left, or you can always manually write your code. Let's add a class to this element. Click P on the keyboard. That's the shortcut for opening the elements properties. Click on add class. Type a class name. Here I'm setting it to site-preloader. Click on add class button or just hit enter. Now you can close these two pop-ups by just pressing escape on your keyboard. Before adding more elements, let's add some CSS styling to this element. Select the .site-preloader div and then go to the style CSS panel. From the style panel, type the class name .site-preloader and click on create. Now you can add CSS properties to the element by clicking on the plus sign. You do have the freedom to use the code editor to manually type your CSS. For this usage, our preloader block should cover the whole view until the page content is loaded. So let's add the following CSS. Position fixed. Top zero. left zero, right zero, bottom zero, height 100%, width 100%, background, hash CCCCCC, Z index 999, Nine, nine, nine. Now you should see a gray block covering the whole page. This should be hidden at first, even for the browsers that don't support JS. Later it will be controlled by our interactions. So let's hide this block by adding two more CSS rules. Opacity 0, Visibility Hidden. Our .site-preloader block is not visible right now. We need to work more on this, so for now, let's keep it visible by disabling the above two CSS rules by commenting them out. To disable a CSS property, select the div, go to the style panel, go to the desired CSS property. Here, we should first go to opacity zero, Hover to the far right side and you should see an eye icon. Click on the eye icon. Do the same with the visibility hidden rule. Go to visibility hidden, click on the eye icon. Now let's add more elements to the site-preloader block. I'll be adding a div inside this block with a class name preloader-content where I'll add text. This time I will use the code editor to add HTML. Click on the site-preloader div and click Control H on a PC or Command H on a Mac or Linux. And this will pop up a code editor for the selected block only. Now let's add the following HTML inside the site-preloader block. Div class equals preloader content. P loading dot dot dot. Press the escape key to close the pop up and save your project. Now let's add CSS to the preloader dash content block so that we can center the content. We can use absolute positioning, but I'm going to use flexbox properties, which provide more flexibility. 
For this one, let's add CSS directly to the style.css file. If you have already opened the style.css file in the editor, that is fine. If not, go to the Style tab, click on Style Sheets, click on the code icon to the right of the style.css file. Now go to the editor and at the end add our CSS. Dot preloader dash content. Height 100%. Width 100%. Display Flex, Align Items Center, Justify Content Center, Font Size 1.25 REM. Now if you check the style tab by selecting the preloader-content div on the tree panel, you can find the same CSS applied. Now we've created a very basic loading screen, so let's add interaction to make it work like a website preloader. 